Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a knockout with your Cricut. You can also do the same thing with your Silhouette. Um, I plan on doing another video doing it with the Silhouette uh, design space so you guys can see that. But um, I'm going to show you guys also how to cut it out from step to step, cutting it out, weeding it out, and putting it on the project. And on this one, I have it on a 12 by 12 piece of tile, but you can use the ones that look like wood or whatever. You can put it on wood, the little glass, so you can make little coasters. Whatever you want to do, I think it'll be a super cute Valentine's gift. Um, I'm going to have the, the girl that recently created this back in December. She created, uh, talking about showing you how to knock this out. Um, I'm going to have her video down below. This was highly requested by a subscriber of mine that I consider a friend here on YouTube. And she just wanted me to do a more in-depth of walking through, weeding, and putting it on the um, on the stone. So, um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we're going to create here. So let me go ahead and hide this. All right, so we're going to hide that. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to come, if you want to use the same font that is right, right here with the heart on it. So if you want to use that same font, you don't have to. Um, you can come over here to dafont.com. It's D-A-F-O-N-T.com. I will have it linked down below. And then you're going to come to the search bar right here. Type in I Love Glitter. Hit download. Once you download it, you'll come up to your downloads, wherever that may be, on your Windows or Mac. Um, and then you will click it right here. You will double click. And then it will bring you to this screen here. And then you will click on either this one right here, the OTF, TTF. I haven't had an issue just using either or. Once you double click on it, it's gonna come up like this and you're gonna hit install font. Once you do it, it's on your computer. And now if you're wanting to use it for Cricut Design Space, just make sure that once you download it, you exit out of your Cricut Design Space. If, if you already have it open, then reopen it so it will be there. Um, and now if you don't already have Cricut Design Space open, you don't have to worry about it. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come to text. For the, for the last name, you want to use something bold, so Times New Roman, or you want to use Impact. I like to use Impact, so you're going to come up here, get your Impact, and then you're going to type in your last name like so, and we'll bring it just a little bit bigger so we can see everything. Now you can see that everything's gapped out. You want it as close as possible, so you're going to come to Letter Spacing and bring that in. Just, oop, I brought it in too much. You can see that there we go so that'll be perfect and then i'm going to come and get another text and i'm going to go to the i love glitter and there it is all right so you're going to go to open bracket and then you're going to type in the first name and she did not do a capital letter and i liked it that way as well um, and then you're going to hit underscore and then the other name and then you're going to hit bra um, in bracket. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, so in bracket just like that. Let me bring you all just a little bit so we can see. All right, so now you can see everything spaced out again. You want to come back up to letter spacing. Bring that in until everything's touching. Make sure nothing overlaps just as much as you can until everything's touching. And I think that looks maybe one more. Let's see if I don't overlap. I think that should be good. All right, so once you do that, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're working with here. So then I want to bring this down to fit right here. Now you can change the color of this just so you can see what you're doing, just temporary. So let's say I change it to white just so I can see where it's at. All right, so say that I'm happy with that. I like the placement, looks good. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, you can change the color back at this point if you want to, because I'm going to show you, again, changing colors. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, you're happy with you on this font right here, the wiggly one, you want to come up here and change that to a print and cut. You're not really going to do that. You're just saving an image. So print and cut, then you're going to go to make it. All right, so this is what we're needing here, but we're going to need the, so you're going to hit continue. We're going to need the shadow of it. So hey, say send a printer. Now you're not going to go any further than this point. You're just needing this image right here. Now if you have Windows, you would right click, save image to wherever you want to save it so it's easy to find. If you have Win, if you have a Mac, this is how I do it. I kind of bring my screen down. I grab it just like this, drop it onto my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this one so we can see. 
So it's right here. Here's the image. So then I'm going to go ahead and bring this back up. Exit out of here. Cancel. Yes, I'm sure. And then we're going to come over here to upload an image. We're going to go to upload. And then right here where it says browse, I can either drop my window here, grab it off my desktop, and drop it just right there. Now, if you have a Windows or you want to look, just go to browse and find it that way. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to simple. Now, she showed doing it a little bit different, but I, I'm going to show you how I did it. So then she went at this point, and she went and clicked all these pieces to get rid of, like, this outline here, okay? But I did not. I just hit continue. I hit save and cut. I want to show you really quick. I'm going to zoom in. See how it just looks like a hot mess, and you're thinking, oh, I don't, that's, that's not right. I'm not doing something right. No, this is correct. It looks like a mess, but this is your shadow. All right, so then you're going to go ahead, and we're going to hit save as a cut file. All right, so here's our image. You're going to hit insert. All right, so let's bring it down, and I'm going to rotate this so I can see what we're doing. All right, now this one right here is 7.74 long, so I'm going to change this one the same. I'm going to click on it and click 7.74. 7.4, just like that, all right? So that is going to be our um, cut piece. So now what we're going to do this. Okay, so this is how I got rid of this outline of this square. So click on it, hit contour right down here. Click both of these squares. Exit. And now those are gone. All right, so now what you're going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and mess with these again. So this is going to be changed to white just so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm changing this to white. I'm going to bring this piece back here just so I can make sure. And I'm going to move it to the front. Go to arrange. Move to front. And then I'm going to kind of mess with this to make sure everything is going to fit correctly. So I think I need to come back over here to this piece here and I'm going to expand it out just a little bit just playing with it until everything's going to fit correctly so come in here like this and let's see if I don't expand that just a little bit more That'll probably be as close as I can get. So let me zoom you in so you can see. See, I have just made sure that everything just kind of is in the lines, somewhat is in there, okay? So that's exactly what I want to do. So then the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to select both of these just so I can make sure I'm putting them both here just so I can make sure it's exactly where I'm going to want it. So say that I'm happy with it and that's exactly where I'm going to want it. I'm going to take my, oops, say I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and take the this one right here and move it back out of the way. I'm going to select these two. I'm going to hit slice. And this is the piece that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these pieces here. All right. So then this is where you're just going to have to play with this a little bit. Bring it up here. And just figure out, make sure everybody's kind of lining up just like it was before. So something about like that. So that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit text. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put E-S-T for establish. So then you're going to do the same thing, letter spacing, just like that. I'm going to bring this up to here. Bring that down just a I'm going to come back to text. I'm going to go change my font just like she did before. Change it to, um, let me go back to impact. Because it just looks so much cleaner doing that. That's how I've always done it too. I do my um, numbers different. Um, it just looks better and cleaner if you do it this way. It's just totally preference. So there would be, I don't know why I keep putting, I, all they have been trying to do 2017. Okay, so there is your 2012. And now, if that's too bold for you, you could always go to, like, you know, Times New Roman or something like that. But say that I'm happy with this. This is exactly what, how I want it. You're just lining everything up just like that. All right. So then, the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything and hit weld. So everything's together. So it's going to be all one piece. So now the next step that you're going to do, just make sure that, it, you know, you can size this now. 
you can just click on it and size it so you can make sure it's whatever you need it for for your project and let's just say that I'm going to do I'm going to do a six something about like this so before you go to make it you need to come back over here and change this to cut okay now it's a cut file so if you're having issues and you're going to make it and you see that the, the background's wide and that it has this box around it, you need to change it to a cut file. So now it's a cut file and then we're going to continue through it. So let's go ahead and get this cut out and um, put it on something. I have it loaded in my machine. I'm going to hit go. So far we are at 50%. Um, if you'll see like this little piece kind of hanging here, I just this is from my scrap pile. I just threw it on there. I didn't even trim it down. I just make sure it's going to be the right size. And this mat that it's actually cutting on was a 12 by 24 and I'll cut it in half. So that it does work in there. You just let it like normal. We are at 83%, and I want to go ahead and play this all the way through, so that way that was requested so you guys can see it being cut out all the way through. And then I'm going to show you guys weeding it and everything so you guys can see how this works. Um, while this is cutting, you may want to get your transfer tape, and I'm going to use the transfer tape from the Dollar Tree, and then you may want to get your tool. So, so far, you can see it right there. You can see all your writing. All right, so let's go ahead and take this over and get it weeded. Okay, so now we have it ready. We've got it all ready to be weeded out. And like I said, you can see it there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and peel off the whole entire outside layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim here so that way I can save some of this because some of this is still big enough to do some small lettering. So I always like to save whatever I can. I keep it all in one little scrap pile. I got like a little, um, like a little box that I kind of just keep all this in. So like little scraps like this in case you're doing like initialing or something. All right, so that's good enough for me. So now what I'm gonna do, I like to weave the entire outside. So let me grab a piece here. I'm just nice and slowly because it's going to be getting inside these little pieces here. I'm just nice and slowly grabbing these little pieces so I don't tear anything away that's supposed to be there. So once it starts to get to this point, I like to go ahead and trim like this 
just so that way I don't have such um, a long piece that I'm trying to keep from sticking on everything. All right, so then we'll find our point again very carefully. This is gonna be pulling pieces out like that just to make sure we're not taking anything off that don't need to be. So I'm gonna start from the bottom there so we can come up this way. And just continue to go around. All right, so now we're gonna go back and get everything that we didn't get the first time. All right, so we've got a piece right in here that needs to be popped out. All right, we've got a piece right here. I like to go for like the bigger pieces that I can see first. Let me bring it up here so you guys can see what's going on. All right, just like that. And then let me see if there's any more bigger pieces that I can't get. Okay, so now it's pretty much just inside of everything. So, like, there's one right here inside the, the zero. All right. And then we've got a little piece right here inside the S. Just going to carefully knock that out of there. All right. And then, let's see. We're just knocking these little pieces out. Sometimes these little pieces get kind of hard to grab so you can see how it's kind of moving around there. Just make sure you get it. You don't want to lay that down. And there's a teensy tiny one right here inside this um, where that K comes around. Just make sure that I get that little piece off. Right. Now we've got let me kind of zoom you guys in just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so we've got a little piece right here inside the O. All right. And then there's another teensy tiny piece at the top of the O. Oops, got to be careful. Now we've got the heart. All right, and then we've got, let's see, up here... We've got a few small pieces here in the T, but I'm gonna go ahead and go for my bigger pieces before I keep messing with the small ones. Let me, I got pieces of vinyl sticking to me. Now, if you're really good at vinyl, you could always just fast forward through all this piece. If you're good at just weeding is what I mean. All right. Now, we've got this piece here inside the S. Another piece here, but we got to be really careful not to move our tear up our S. So let me see if I can't get this little guy out of here very carefully. So the last little piece that we have here is inside this L. All right, just like that. So I think I've got everything out that needs to be out. So that looks good to me. Let me zoom you guys back out. All right, so that looks good to me. And I've already got, let me zoom you out enough so you can see, I've already got my 12 by 12 tile. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, but the girl that did this, you'll see a lot of people are doing them on the one that look like wood planks. So um, they also have those in their tile. You can go get them for their, they're only, these are very inexpensive. I mean, where you can get them for like two, three dollars a piece, sometimes a dollar something. You can do them on the smaller squares. You can do them on the little glass ones that you've seen people doing to do like coasters and stuff. Just whatever you want to put these on. You can even do this on wood. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our piece of contact paper, and I'm using the transfer paper from the Dollar Tree. All right, that's going to be good enough for me. So what I'm going to do at this point, and I've already washed my tile. Um, you, I just used on dish soap and a wash rag, but you can use alcohol or whatever you want to do just to kind of get those oils off or any type of dirt. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and get this picked up here just like this. All right, so now I'm going to use my scraper tool here to get it all picked up. I like the extra large. Um, I invested in this one from the very beginning, and it's the one you'll see in my videos I use like 90% of the time because look at how much coverage you get um, in one little deal. So I really love it. And it seems like it's more, um, got more, 
The other one's like a lot harder here. This is not really soft. It's just, it's a lot softer than the, the other one. So we're just picking this up. All right, and so now we're gonna see if that's good enough. And what I'd like to do is flip it over and work from this side. So way I can kind of push down and roll. So you just kind of push on any of the spots that's trying to come up, you're just gonna push on it and continue to roll. You really wanna push in the center where you have that small lettering so it don't tear it all. All right, and I know I'm gonna be completely sideways on this on the video, but this is where I'm standing. So hopefully you guys can see this good enough. So Guadalupe, I hope that this really helped you out um, to kind of understand this a lot better. Because sometimes I know it's really hard that, you know, you're just kind of learning the design space and everything too, and somebody throws this at you and it's like, what? <laughs> Especially the weeding part, you know, it's like, well, then what do you do next? You know, so um, I apologize that it's taken me this long to kind of get this done, but our whole household has just been so sick. So hopefully I should be back in action with everything here shortly. And it's the start of softball season here at our, you know, for our school district, I'm sure for everywhere else. So we've got that going on as well. All right, so now this is what we're going to do. I'm going to move to the other side. We're going to, we want to center it at this point. So we want to kind of figure out where we want to center this. So I don't have it laid down quite yet so I can kind of play with it if I wanted to take a ruler these are very inexpensive rulers from Walmart you know I bought it during school time they're like 25 cents it's very handy I use it for everything while doing anything with vinyl so that's almost two inches okay so that looks good to me and then we can come from here and say that's about four and a half and about four and a half. So I did pretty good on that. Okay. So it seems pretty good to me. So at this point, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So this is what you're going to do. So you have it all laid down, just kind of smoothing everything out a little bit. You're going to take your, um, your little scraper again and just kind of rub this out. All right, that seems good to me. So let's go ahead and start trying to peel this up. And I think this would be such an inexpensive, um, cute gift for Valentine's Day. Now, if you did and you don't have a Cricut, find a friend that may have it. Um, or if you have, like we have somebody in town that kind of does stuff like this, so you can go and get something custom done. They charge like five bucks. So you would have five dollars to go get somebody to do something like this you just show them the picture show them this is what you want done they'll do it for you say you have five dollars in that and then for the tile say you have two bucks you'd have seven dollars total in a gift so you could come home they'll put it on the plastic just like this you can use a scraper tool that you have around the house say you have one for dishes or something like that um you get them sometimes with your glass uh, for your colors or something like that hold on to those and you know you can do this at home by yourself so let me go and zoom you out so you guys can see. This is what it looks like. So hopefully you guys can pick that up without the glare and everything. But this is what it looks like. And then you can, you know, just set it up on a shelf above your fireplace. You don't have to do that one this big or anything. I did this one because this is what I had on hand. I work with what I have on hand. And, uh, but I think it would make such a great Valentine's gift, Mother's Day gift, Father's Day gift. And like I said, huge shout out to the girl that had actually, um, you know, did this video. Um, I'm just walking all the way through the steps. And like I said, I will have her video linked down below. So definitely check her out. If you wanted to do this with paint, you would have, say I had the Thomas written out here on the, from the computer. I would then put this down and then you'd want like the transfer paper 
or like I said, a pencil so you do it real, real rough. You would uh, go over every single letter. Then you would take your paint, you would fill in all the letters with your first paint. And then the second one, you would come back, like I said, you would want to like fussy cut around this writing. Then you would come back and put your paint on your lettering for where you fussy cut it around that. And then you would come back with this one, you would take and do the same thing, stencil that in between. And then you would just paint or use a Sharpie or something to do that. Same thing with all this. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and that way you could do this. If you didn't have a Cricut as well, you could just paint it on. Um, but like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below. And I will see you guys on the next one.